Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. First of all, let me just say, well, let me just apologise because I'm so ill. Ooh, let's put that on silent. I'm so ill and I probably sound it, but today I thought I would do another tester video and yeah, sorry about my hair. I need to brush it, but it's wet. Um, but you'll see why. I thought <laughs> I thought I would test the light Schwarzkopf Live Cotton Candy Pastel Spray. Um, this lasts up to three washes. Oh, that's not focusing. Yeah, so it lasts up to three washes. Um, my hairdresser actually had one that like washes out the day after, but this one was a bit cheaper. Um, and I thought I would just try it on like a bit. Like I'm a little bit scared to put it in my hair, really. Like I'm a little bit scared to put it in my hair. Um, because I don't want it to stain it, but, yeah, so, let's get it out, let's get the instructions out. It's just like a spray bottle. It comes with gloves, though, so I'm thinking, like, oh, I don't know. Um, he says, do not colour your hair if you have a rash on your face. Um, I don't have a rash on my face, but I've got it on my, uh, legs, but that's basically what the bottle looks like. Um, there is 125 millilitres in there. Let's check my phone. It's St. Patrick's Day today. I don't know when I'm going to actually put this video up. The available shades that you can get in this is Apricot Sunrise, um, Icy Blue, Mint Green or Cotton Candy. Um, I should have got Apricot Sunrise but they didn't actually have that. I didn't see that. I only saw the Icy Blue, Mint Green and the Cotton Candy. So, yeah. Um, it says it's a gentle formula with a vitamin complex for strong and healthy looking hair, ammonia and peroxide free, as per all temporary colours, fresh fragrance, ooh, fresh fragrance, pocket sized bottle. I'll put, I personally wouldn't say that that is pocket sized. I mean, like, there's my head. <laughs> I don't know. So, let's follow the instructions. And I bought this with my own money, I went to Tesco and I saw it and I bought it, so... Yeah, it says excess yellow or orange tones in the hair may cause an unexpected colour result. So, I used a purple shampoo in my hair, so I do have some yellowy bits, but not that much. Not too bad, it's more yellowy down this end, but if anything, it's silvery. And you know what, my roots come through again already. I had my hair dyed like two weeks ago, it's growing so quickly. So, it says apply to towel dry dried or dry hair. Ensure that clo clothing is covered with an old towel or cape before application and or applying shower. Spray directly onto the hair and blot excess product with a paper towel. Comb through for an even distribution of colour. Okay, so I was thinking I'm going to do it whilst my hair's wet. Um, I'm just going to give my hair a bit of a brush because it's so hard to like brush my hair when it's wet but I did put like a conditioner in it and I actually used a short cough like conditioner. Oh, you can kind of see like the yellowy bits of my hair. Uh, so hopefully it will be okay. So if I just brush through and I will come back in a moment. Oh, I'm so scared. I've got, I want to do it though. I really want to do this, but I'm scared. But it will wash out, so it's fine. Well, it says it will. I hope it does. I'm really scared. Okay, I'm literally terrified. So terrified. So, so terrified. I think I'm going to do what it says. It's a bit yellow, more yellowy underneath here. But I'm going to put the towel around me. I'm going to put the spray in. And then I'm going to dry my hair with a hairdryer. And we'll see how it comes out. Literally. I've got a white top on, so I don't know. Like... I wish I had someone to help me, but I don't. Okay, 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 we'll do it on like, I'm thinking we'll just do it on this like, this like piece here, because I'm, I'm really scared, I'm really scared. Give it a shake. It's really pink. Oh my god. Oh, 
oh it's gone on my top that's helpful that's like really pink oh my god I don't even think you can't even see it that much on camera I don't think right I'll just spray it on a bit more it looks like like squash Okay, so that is what it looks like at the moment. But it's like quite a nice colour actually. I quite like that. Oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, this uh, this side. Turn. Oh, that one looks a bit darker because I can't see that as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna dry that and we'll see how that turns out when it's dry. Okay, so I've got pink hair. Oh, it's amazing. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna straighten my hair through um, because it feels really dry, that's the only thing. But I was just speaking to my mum about it and basically it is like, it's practically like a spray in powder, I suppose. So. I'm just going to straighten it all through. So basically, how this works is, um, I think the best way to do it, or the best way my hairdresser said to do it, is to do it on like damp, towel dried hair, and then you put it on your hair, and then, oh something's just turned off, don't know what that was, um, and then you spray it through your damp hair and then you blow dry it in and that's probably the best way to do it and that's how she did it. Um, so yeah. Okay, the colour's staying on because one thing I thought is it might come off whilst I'm straightening it but no, so far so good. Ah, I love it. And it says, sorry, my straightens are really creaky. I need to get some new ones. Um, it says on the packet that it's meant to last for like three days. I've got it all over my brush. I can see bits that I've missed, but I'm not too bothered because I wasn't going for an all over like perfect pink look anyway. I wanted that kind of like faded like blondie pastel kind of look Ooh. oh my god it's like a big dry ball on my head okay Okay, guys, that's probably, oh, it feels a bit weird and dry, but this is probably like the quickest hair dye process I've ever had in my entire life. I would 100% recommend this. I've got loads of this left as well. I reckon I probably used about, I mean, because I can't see, I don't know, but I'm thinking maybe like half a bottle. I can't see through like the sunlight, but I reckon about half all there. And... This stuff is so good, it's mad, so I can put that in my drawer now and use that to like top it up. So you can make it darker, but I generally didn't do too much. And I would say the colour's pretty like even between where my lighter blonde is and my darker blonde is at the bottom. It's not too bad a difference. So I am super super chuffed with that like i really want to go to work with pink hair on monday but i don't know i don't know if i'll like it says three washes but we'll see what this looks like after i wash it tomorrow because i'm sure i'll wash it tomorrow night um but yeah i would definitely recommend this product i hope you all enjoyed this and i will see you in my next video bye